Hello, I welcome you back to this lesson where we are going to talk about elimination method. So I'm going to make it uh, so simple so that each and every person can understand. So when we say elimination method, what should come to your mind is that we need to make sure that we make the two coefficients, either these or these should be the same. So these, the first ones or the second ones should be the same. So you need to make sure that the coefficients are the same. Then we cancel out or we add or subtract such that they must give us a zero. So if you check, you can make these ones or these. So making these ones the same, what is the coefficient here? The coefficient of y here is 1. So it goes on top. Then what is the coefficient of uh, y there? Is it 2? You don't get the negative. You forget about the negative. So just get a 2. The coefficient is what? A 2. So we forget about the sign. So have you seen what has happened is that this 2 is here. The 1 which is there is there. Then you start doing what? You start the multiplication. So we start multiplying. So what we are going to do is this. You say... 1 times 7x, you are going to have 7x. Minus 1 times 2y, like that, which is equal to 1 times 45, 45 will still remain. So after reaching there, then what is 2 times 5? That is 10x. 2 times y plus 2y, which is equal to, what is... Uh, 2 times 50, 2 times 37, you're going to get uh, 74. Have you seen that these two are the same? So if these two are the same, you check. So these two are the same. They are having different signs. So if they are having different signs, you need to add. So we are going to add. So if they were having same signs, you need to subtract. So what is 7x? plus 10x, we get 17x. What is negative 2? So that is a negative 2, plus what? Plus 2. You get definitely it is a 0. So you say plus what? 0, which is equal to, what is 45? 45 plus 74. What answer are you getting? That is 9. Then there you get 11. So 1. 11 like that this is what you are going to do so when you reach there what's the next thing so here what is 17x plus 0 just 17x which is equal to 117 after doing this you divide both sides by 17 so that you have x divided by 17 so this and that cancel out you are going to have x so x is now therefore equal to what? So 119 divide 17, x is equal to 7. You're going to have a 7. So this 7 is the value for x. How do you find another value which is the value for y? You get one of the two equations. The original equations, you get one of the two equations. So I'm going to get this one, which is uh, 5 x plus y is equal to 37. Where there is x, you put what? You put 7. So I'm going to have 5 times 7 plus y, which is equal to 37. So what answer are you getting here? You are going to get a what? You are going to get a 35. This same 35 goes to the other side of the equation. So maybe someone may not understand what I mean. So this is 35 plus y is equal to what? 37. When you reach here, you need to group the like terms together. So we need to group the like terms together. So this is y is equal to, this 35 goes to the other side of the equation. So this is 37 so when this one comes this other side, since it is crossing this equal to sign, meaning the sign is going to change. So it's going to be negative 30, 
35 like that. So meaning y is equal to, what is 35 minus 30, 37 minus 35, it is 2. So your y is equal to 2. So y is 2, x is 7. You just conclude and say, therefore, x is equal to 7 and y and y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 like that so these are the two solutions that you need to get and uh, if you are new to this youtube channel don't forget to subscribe share like and comment thank you so much so i did the first part where i talked about substitution method and we conclude this by elimination method so if you didn't watch out the first video that i did under substitution you can search for lead and you learn something thank you so much